Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and we'll look specifically at the weekend. This will be a little briefer of an update, but I want to start across the west because we had a cold front come down the eastern periphery of this high pressure and kind of pierce it. And there's another one coming for the 24th, 25th in Montana, Wyoming, which is what you're looking at right here up in Jackson Hole. Um, down through parts of uh, Colorado, and it may, may, may clip um, the Wasatch 24-25, but then it'll roll down into northern New Mexico. But anyway, this is the view up at uh, Jackson Hole right now, six inches overnight. Absolutely beautiful view up there right now. Uh, Jackson Hole, the Grand Targhee, they also are reporting, uh, they're, they're reporting six inches of snow. Here's the view at Alta, reporting a few inches overnight. Um, should be good skiing today. I don't have anything significant for the Wasatch again until maybe the 24th, 25th, and it's not looking huge. It may just brush the Wasatch during that time frame. Let's roll into Colorado. Now that front has moved in. It's moved out of Wyoming, out of Utah, and into Colorado. We've got snow. This is up at Loveland Ski Area. Should snow most of the day, um, setting a nice stage for a powder Saturday across the state of Colorado. But it's doing this at Winter Park and Hay Basin, Keystone. Let's go up to Steamboat. You can see some light snow falling there, reporting a few inches overnight, and they'll add a, a bit more today as well. Should be great skiing up there today and tomorrow. Let me show you the setup here. Uh, here's the infrared satellite. Um, so the storm track is basically doing this. It's running all the way up to the BC Pacific Northwest and then running down. And this is allowing these cold fronts to come down the eastern periphery and then it's carving out a trough on the east coast. But So what we have here, let me just change the, uh, the color, is you've got the moisture feed running up the jet and then up and over the top. And then occasionally these cold fronts, and I'll change the color to uh, blue, um, occasionally it's sending a cold front down and it's clipping the uh, Intermountain West and that's what we're seeing happen right now. That's why it snowed in, in Utah and Wyoming, Montana, Colorado. Um, so and we'll see this again like I was saying play out on the 24th, 25th. But uh, that's the setup right now. Let me show you what I am forecasting in two different stages. So all of today through the 23rd and, and again snowing in Colorado right now so we'll add another two to four in a lot of these uh, ski areas from Wolf Creek Creek to Silverton, um, all the way up to the I-70 corridor, Snowmass, Vail, Summit County, the tunnel, uh, another one to four on the way in many of these spots, maybe even catching Brian Head as well, but look at how much how much dry air has settled in over the upper west, the upper northwest, Pacific Northwest, I mean there's just nothing there through the 23rd. Let's look down the road. Okay, so this is the 24th through the 30th, so basically the end of the month. And the other front on the 24th, 25th basically just brushes Montana, Wyoming. And again, it's questionable as to whether it even reaches um, Utah's Wasatch or not. But then it rolls into Colorado and northern New Mexico with two to five inches, as it looks at this point. Again, kind of favoring the front range high peaks of Colorado, the central and northern mountains. Um, and then the Pacific Northwest. And, and this is something that happens late in the month, 29, 30, 31. Look at the snow at Shasta and Heavenly. We haven't had any significant precip in California for the month of January. This would be the first possible signs of that late in the month. And I do think, like I was saying yesterday, and as I outlined in my blog, I think once we get to the end of the month and into the first week or two of February, I think February is going to turn out to be a very active month for the West in general. And you're just seeing sort of the first signs of that here with some snow loading up during that time frame. So let me take you back again. Here's phase one, all of today through the 23rd, and then again through the end of the month, 24th through the 30th. That's the way I think it shakes out at this point. All right, enjoy it. Enjoy the weekend. Find some powder. Thank you for tuning in here.